Hey, siblings of Christ. Welcome to week 10 of Read Through the Bible in Two Years. As we were reading in week 9, God, through Moses, had let loose nine terrible plagues on the people of Egypt and designed to change the heart of Pharaoh so that Pharaoh would let God's people go, would release them from their captivity. But after each plague, Pharaoh's heart became harder and harder and harder until finally there's one plague left, the tenth plague, the plague of the death of the firstborn of all of the people of Egypt. If you've ever seen the movie The Ten Commandments or The Prince of Egypt, you know how this, how this story goes, where Pharaoh will finally let God's people go. And as God's people then are, are, are allowed to leave and of course, you have that dramatic scene at the Red Sea. But as they cross the Red Sea and enter into the wilderness of Sinai, they still have to pass through wilderness. It's desert. And there are more than 600,000 of them. Where's the water going to come from? Where's the food going to come from? And so at the end of this upcoming week's reading, you'll see how God will provide the New Testament readings for this week take place in, in Matthew uh, chapters 21, 22, and 23, which is the space between Palm Sunday, God's or Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem for that last time, and Monday, Thursday, the beginning of those three days of, of the Last Supper, and then Jesus' arrest and, and trial and crucifixion. And then uh, Jesus laid into the tomb. So this is the, the time between Palm Sunday and Monday, Thursday, where Jesus has opportunities to, to be tested, uh, to be kind of put on trial in a lot of ways by the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and to answer that and continue with his teachings until the Last Supper. Thank you, folks, for joining us in this Read Through the Bible. And may it be used to deepen your faith and deepen your knowledge of Scripture.